Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're basically furthering um, what we're doing with the uh, uh, TPU filament, this, uh, this, this uh, flexible, very, very tough flexible filament that we've been experimenting with. If you followed along in the past too, we've printed out um, several different objects. We printed out some test objects for camera slider and then we printed out a hex tool and then here we've now decided to continue on and print out a, a larger piece uh, hex tool holder. Uh, the one thing is I wanted to try this um, for separation and, and any type of warping uh, on a bigger scale of a single object and you can kind of see here that's that's what we have and again the idea is you basically take these bits you put them in here and what what the nice part is there's a bit of a stress um, piece in here and uh, you know the idea is that that holds it in in place and allows it a little bit of wiggle room to to get it out rather than standard uh, pieces now uh, the interesting thing, this one really doesn't have a bottom, and I'm going to try to get it up, and we're going to see how this goes. I'm anticipating as, as hard as the other one was. Now, I did, this did print, this took almost five hours to print, so it was quite a while, so, um, I anticipate. Now, one of the things that, one of the tricks that I do use for things like this hard to get prints is a utility knife and you do have to have some some safety about this as I do have safety shop glasses on right now because I need glasses to read and it just happened to be um, polycarbonate safety glasses uh, you know that are also you know reading glasses so it's kind of does double duty for me around the shop but uh, what I do is I try to work this in underneath the bed and, uh, you know, number one rule is you shouldn't be cutting towards yourself. So I am kind of cutting a little bit away and trying to keep my hand out of the way. So in case I do slip. Um, but what I'm trying to do is, is just cut underneath small pieces of this to really open it up. Um, and to break the adhesion. Now you have to be careful because these serrates here that allow you to snap the blade off will break if you put too much lateral force on it. So I'm trying to minimize that, and again, I'm just trying to use this enough to, to, to get where I can get a larger spatula such as this underneath to get more force, because I can get more prying force with this. But I started it, you know, with the uh, other knife. And, and let me clue you, this baby is on here, and she has a, a lot of surface area. You can hear the, it's just my voice, because this thing is taking a lot of force. <clears throat> and also, is in, in the process, I'm, not, I'm trying to not damage the bed as well as not overly deform the plastic piece. So again, I'm working from the outside in, because the inside is going to be where most of the surface area is. And this, this stuff is tough. When this stuff sticks, this stuff sticks. There we go. So we now have it up off the piece. Now, one of the things, you see maybe a little bit of a stringing there, cross stringing in the, um, that. So uh, I'm not sure how this is quite going to work without a bottom. It seems to hold like that regular one in without a problem. Well, at the bottom it does seem to stop it. So we can put in, let me make sure I got all this. So start putting them in some rough size order. Not that this is probably the most interesting thing, but I, I kind of wanted you to see how this um, goes together and how this works. Because this, um, this really does seem to be a phenomenal use of the material. See, that one kind of sticks a little bit through. Um, I, I think if I were to do, do it again, I'd print one with a bit of a bottom on it to hold them in place. Because this does not, if I print this in ABS, 
and I have printed this in ABS before, the expansion is quite a bit more, so um, this would actually hold, be held in a lot tighter. It's not too bad if it sits on a desk or something, it's not. I may actually laser cut a little stand for it because I do do like this. Um, it's a heck of a hunk of plastic too. So, um, but I think as you can see here, just kind of, I'm just putting different types. See, this one just wants to fall right through. So again, I think I may have to to, to print up some kind of bottom for this and attach it. But the um, some of the larger ones seem to be fine. These guys want to these guys want to fall right through. So again, my my um, my further commentary on this would be um, uh, be careful about expansion and shrinkage with this because I think that's um, uh, part of the challenge with this stuff is, is it does not seem to expand and, and one of the things because one of the things that uh, that I do is uh, I usually take especially when working with ABS expansion into consideration when when designing the ABS part and I and so obviously here oh see that one fell right out the bottom so some of the larger ones again it goes but you know obviously if you sit it on something and, and then I think what I'm going to do is laser cut a stand and then just glue this to the stand uh, I think that'll be kind of cool uh, I think this uh, uh, TPU will, uh, would also be good for um, for feet, so I think this would make some good vibration isolation feet possible. So, uh, anyways, again, just wanted you guys to kind of see a little bit more on uh, TPU, its uses. Kind of wanted you to see what it looks like, and again, you can watch the pieces fall out because there's there isn't a bottom on this. I'm not sure why somebody just didn't design a simple little bottom on this but uh, again when I looked at it because uh, I printed this before and again in ABS there's enough expansion but this this obviously doesn't have enough expansion to deal with the bottom but you know one of the things I wanted to show is, is take a look at that bottom take a look at this this is really the, the Wan Hao did a very good job on this material sorry get it in frame here a little bit better uh, and, you, and you see one of the reasons that I wanted to do this other than the pieces falling out of the bottom is um, it, it, is it really doesn't um, um, you know lift up or deform like ABS does in a large because this is a pretty heavy duty print. Uh, print. So this was uh, printed at uh, 50 millimeters per second, 250 on 250C on the hot end, 80 on the bed um, with a 20% infill, and this thing is really really nice I mean and, and that's one of the things I wanted to experiment one of the reasons is I originally saw the filament which is up here out of your frame of view so I originally saw this filament on uh, Maker's Muse and Angus didn't say too much about it but it kinda his the resiliency of it is what really caught my attention it is very resilient so um, it's very resilient and it's it, it, while it's flexible, you know, this is flexing on the joints. If this was one solid cube, this would not flex much. So this kind of um, gave me the idea that this could be very good for certain type of parts where some flexing is acceptable, um, yet you wanted something very, very strong because the, the one of the problems I was running into in some of the part designs I was doing in ABS were cracking. And that really kind of sucked um, you know because one of the things I think if you heard you know if you followed along my channel for a while uh, my, my goal is really to develop small-scale production opportunities and uh, it, with that I need a material or materials that can do that so that's why I've experimented with this because ABS is, is, is okay um, I will probably use ABS for some stuff and I will use 
some modified PLAs for some stuff. The the big thing with PLA, I like it. It's far more rigid than ABS, but yet um, the thing with PLA is obviously some of the temperature sensitivities about it with its low temperature and its brittleness that, that, that are a bit of a problem. Um, I'm also going to be in the next series I'll probably do a couple more of these showing you guys stuff on, on TPU because I, one of the things with TPU I didn't find a lot of stuff on on the internet or on YouTube about TPU a lot of people used it said here it is moved on uh, I'm finding that this is a far more interesting material and I really want to explore what can be done um, because again, this has been a phenomenal piece. If if the designer and I got this off Thingiverse would have put a freaking bottom on it, it would have been perfect. But like I say, I'll laser cut something and uh, um, attach it, and I'll make it cool. But uh, even if you just sit this on a bench or something, but the only sucky part is when you pick it up to get something out, it'll, the parts will fall out. But back to my main point. So I also have um, Pet G. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, Pet G. Pettig. Um, anyways, I am going to try this next and see how this works. I've got clear and blue of this stuff, and I want to see how resilient this is. Because again, I understand from from watching several different uh, videos that this again is is uh, very very solid, but yet also um, a little bit flexible, but less flexible than uh, TPU. So I'm really interested to see how this turns out. So I'm I'm printing some of this stuff. So now I'll probably reprint it with the the Pet G to see how it all comes out. So, anyways, um, if this has been interesting. If this helps you out, if you're interested in uh, printing with uh, uh, TPU, let me know down below. Maybe you'd like to see something. You have specific questions. Again, I plan on, on working with this and continuing working with this. I, I'm not sure. Well, partly I do understand a little bit. Loading this up in into the extruder um, was a bit of a pain, and getting through some of the initial headaches of making it work were a bit of a pain. However, once you do get it to work, um, it, it's fantastic. Uh, because a actually, what I'm thinking about doing is buying another one of these Wanhao i3s and just dedicating it to TPU, just having a spool TPU loaded up in it all the time. Because uh, it is, like I say, a pain in the butt to get this this threaded into here because this is so, so flexible. And then like I've said in the other videos, one of the other things, it seems to stick on the roll a little bit. It'll eventually pull out, but it's really likes to stick to itself, which is really cool from the aspect of this. I mean, a, a very high quality printout of parts. So, anyways, um, oh, and if you if you have some experience with this, let me know down below too. I'd like to hear what your experiences have been also. Um, and, uh, hey, give it a thumbs up if it helped. It uh, helps us make more of these. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.